The Bound Wolf, MysticalDrumming.com. Letting go. MysticalDrumming.com is a integration of the mind and the ancient wisdom of martial arts into the drums. <clears throat> this is radical, unique, um, to say the least, different. When we let go, we are more in flow with um, everything in life. Now, letting go would be used as an example where when we're drumming, let's say, um, we are playing at a certain speed, something, whatever it may be. If it's just a right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, or a, or a pattern of some sort, a uh, rudiment, whatever. If we let go, we kind of let go of uh, a block, a limitation. The mind is infinite. So usually when we get stuck, let's say we, um, we are having trouble practicing. We've all had that happen, right? And if you haven't had that happen, well, then, you know what? Call me, collect every single day, because I need to talk to you, okay? We've all probably had it happen where we got stuck, where we didn't feel like practicing or exercising or whatever it may be, but in drums, it's called practicing. So, when doing that, we, um, we had a feeling, right? The feeling was usually resistance. Resistance is just an emotion. The emotions are not facts. We tend to think that we are an emotion. No, we're not. The emotions should ideally flow through us, not be stuck in us. So we tend to do two things with emotions. Either suppress them, push them down, which usually leads to feeling bad, and in the opinion of people like myself who are more holistically oriented, cancer, heart disease, and things like that, uh, I'm not saying that's the only thing that causes cancer and heart disease, but we, we believe it does contribute. Even Western science now is starting to say, yes, the mind does have an effect on the body, at least as much as um, insofar dumping bad chemicals in the bodies, and which can cause bad things to happen. Inflammatory responses, strokes, heart attacks, things like that. Um, when we, when we let go, we start recognizing that feelings are just a thing, just a thing flowing through us. They're not a, a reality, a fact. They're not, um, they're not really us. When we say, I am depressed. No, you're not depressed. Your name is Jim, Joe, John, whatever. You feel depressed. And when you feel depressed, you sometimes feel depressed and you sometimes don't feel depressed, right? You've gotten to the point where in your life where I'm sure you've been depressed and you haven't been depressed. You felt happy, right? You felt joy. You felt sad. You felt mad. You felt glad, right? It's just changed. Those emotions are not a fact. They are um, a passing state of being. They're a state of consciousness that just flows through the being, the vessel that we are. So when you feel, let's say, stuck, I can't practice, or I can only practice a certain amount, I can't get through a ceiling of, of practicing, okay, so what do you do? Let's say the feeling is frustration, just for instance, it could be anything. Okay, so first you say to yourself, on a scale of 1 to 10, where is the frustration? So I'm going to use a stick as a teaching tool. 0 to 10. I'm at a, an 8, for example, like whatever, 8, 9, something like that. Okay. So you know where you are. Maybe you write that down so you remember. And then ask yourself these following questions. They're very simple. Okay, write them down if you need to. Watch this over and over again. Could you accept that feeling, frustration, or fill in the blank, whatever it may be? Now, generally, when we said we push feelings down, we suppress feelings, or we express them in bad ways through the body, we explode. You know, um, we scream at our boss, get fired, or we yell at our mate. Like, how many, how many of us have, if you've never yelled at your mate, if you had relationships, I'm assuming you have. Um, if you've never yelled at your mate, again, call me, collect every single day, because I need to speak to you. Um, we all have behaved inappropriately to others, your friends, uh, co-workers, you know, anybody, right? Um, it's because we tend to get built up with emotions that are suppressed, 
So now eventually, like a volcano, the lava comes out and root comes out in a bad way. God forbid it comes out in rage. Rage is not an emotion. Rage is a state of being where people lose control and they do horrific physical things, sometimes unspeakable things such as murder. I'm not saying murder is okay. I mean clear that I'm just saying there are people who have committed murder who were not bad people. They were people who had suppressed and had suppression their whole lives and they exploded and in a moment they were a good person who lost control of their being and they committed murder and they regret it in jail or until they go to the gallows and uh, to the moment they die okay so because of one moment of explosion okay so um, that's obviously a um, terrible unspeakable thing um, ineffable I mean you can't even express it right so we don't want that to happen uh, obviously or anything even close to that um, so letting go when we feel stuck you know let's do that again okay so we do something different we accept the feeling why because pushing it down makes it stuck it doesn't go anywhere it's like trying to run away from your shadow if you just say the sun was up all day every day and you ran from new york to california and there's your shadow starting in new york you ran from new york to california and you look down at your shadow your shadow being representative or symbolic of your emotion and you ran straight so you could with no sleep, no food, no water, whatever. You got to LA, and you look down, and what's right there? Your emotion, right? Your shadow. It didn't go anywhere. Because you can't run away from your emotions. So that's suppression. Okay? You have to go under, directly under the sun or light, and you're in the light, which has many meanings, so, you know. Um, the light, whatever God means to you, um, again, you can use words, you can change the word, whatever you want. I'm not here to preach to you, I'm here to just share concepts, and you take what you want and leave the rest. When you're fully in the light, there's no shadow, or ego, kind of like, okay, we call it an ego. Uh, so, when we do something counterintuitive, when we go toward feelings that we think are going to hurt us, such as fear or frustration or um, whatever it may be, um, anger, these kind of things. If I push it away, push it away, push it down, which is what that means, I'll get rid of it. No, you won't. It's there. It's when you accept it that it starts to free up. You make space for it to start to flow through you and out of you. So you ask yourself, can I accept that feeling? Can I let it be? So you stop pushing against your feeling. If you take your two fists and you push them together, okay? You push your fists together. It's kind of like, you know, we have your foot on the brake and your foot on the gas at the same time. If you did it right now with me, put your hands together and push. You'll see that you're stuck, right? So let's say my left hand represents letting go, my right hand it represents the feeling, pushing through. So as I let go with my left hand, it collapses, okay? If you do that while you're breathing, so all tight, I'm not breathing, so I breathe in, and as I breathe out, that's where it let go. Over, I'm breathing, breathing in, and I'm tensed with my hands pushing against my chest, and as I release, I open my hands, and I open up, I release, there's a flow now, there's, a, there's space for emotions to go through me. Will you feel? Yes. You won't get stuck in feelings. There's a big difference. So, frustration. I can't practice. I only can practice five minutes a day or ten minutes. I want to practice 50 minutes or an hour or something like that. Okay. So, first thing, can you accept that frustration? Can you just let it be? And take, a ne take the next step. Hypothetically, don't let it go. It's only a question you're asking yourself. Hypothetically, could I let it go? You're just asking yourself, could you? You could say yes, you could say no. No is not a bad thing. We were told as a child that no is a bad thing. No is not a bad thing. We were told no, you can't have that, or no, you're a bad little boy or girl, and you know, no, you can't have that job later on in life, and or no, you can't have a date with me, or whatever, or no, um, you can't um, 
have that money or the house or whatever, you know. So, yeah, so we have subconscious associations that we think no is a bad word. No is not a bad word. No is fine. No is just no. It's neutral. Okay. Um, and people sometimes don't, are not able to say no enough. Maybe they don't want to go to a wedding or a party or a gathering or a funeral or whatever it may be. And we tend to say yes to a lot of things that we don't really mean to say yes to. Well, maybe practice saying no. No, I don't want to go. That's it. And um, being confident in yourself means you're confident. Being at peace is not determined by how others think of you. It's controlled by you. Your peace is not controlled by your external environment. It's an illusion. Your external environment does not control your internal environment. That's it's not true. Um, it's actually the other way around. It's a very deep metaphysical, metaphysical concept. And I refer you to A Course in Miracles if you wish to read that. I'm only giving a suggestion. I'm not telling you that your belief systems are right or wrong or anything else. I'm just telling you that I found A Course in Miracles to be um, profoundly... Um, powerful and producing peace and uh, I highly recommend it so you know look at it if you wish uh, or don't um, okay so first question could I accept the emotion next question um, could I hypothetically let it go next question would I you ask yourself would you are you willing to it's going a little higher first just can I accept it then could I let it go? It's kind of like a little higher up the ladder. Then am I willing to? Okay, so you go a little bit higher. Are you willing to? Willingness is a little higher state in vibration. It's, it's getting closer. And then you get to the point where you go to the next level, which is the level where you're kind of like at a cliff and you can throw the thing off the cliff or the bird, release the bird into the air. Um, am I willing to let it go? And then you ask yourself the question, when would I like to let it go? The only answer is now. You cannot release one minute ago, 10 minutes ago, 10 days ago, 10 years ago, 10,000 years ago. You cannot release 10 seconds from now, 10 minutes from now, 10 years from now. You maybe could release 10 seconds, 10 minutes, 10 years from now. If in that moment, in 10 seconds, 10 years, 10 whatever, you release you could you release them yes hypothetically however in the moment which is all you have the moment is now and the moment is now and the moment is now and the moment is now see the moment's always now so you release now and when you release now you are in now and now and here is now again here is now again see the moment is always right here there is nothing but the moment I have memories of the past. We usually point in NLP, we have a timeline. You know, I, I was, back then, usually people literally point back, like, yeah, back then, they pointed somewhere. It's actually their brain line doing this. Or in the future, over there or something like that, okay? So maybe a timeline is like here, let's say. You know, oh yeah, in the future, I'm going to be able to they'll point somewhere. Like, they're actually pointing somewhere. In the future, I will let go. Maybe. But you definitely can't do it in the past, because that's gone, right? So I'm doing it myself right back there. But my timeline tends to go this way. So in the future, could you? Here, 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 in a timeline? Maybe, if you hypothetically did. Okay, so let's do it again now, faster. Could you accept that emotion? Frustration. Could you let it go? Are you willing to let it go? When? As you go through those steps, you could say yes and no, not maybe. This maybe is nothing. So you say yes or no. If you say no, if the truth is no, that's your truth. The truth sets you free. You say no. Okay, so again, could I accept this emotion? Eh, if you start doing that, it's no. Say no, no. Could I let it go? Yeah, I think so. Okay, maybe it's a yes, but really, you know, maybe just say no. This is really getting out. Yes. Am I willing to? I don't know why, but yes, I feel willing to. Okay. When? Now. Because it's only time I can release. And what do you do? You simply breathe in, and you can see it. We only process information three ways. Visually, 
auditorily, which means we hear our thoughts or our feelings. We visualize, okay, visualize people, visual people. Or we're kinesthetic, we feel things. Most people are kinesthetic. So if you feel an emotion, like it usually in one of the chakras, like the heart, the solar plexus, or the stomach, you can put your hand right on it. Just breathe in to the emotion, and as you breathe out, just let that darkness, that heaviness, just release it out. If you put your chin all the way down, I'm going to do it just to show you and look up so you can see me. If you put your chin down to your chest, it tends to shut off the cognitive brain, which is good. So you're leading with your heart, not your brain. So put your chin all the way down, and then put your hand where you feel it, maybe in your stomach. Okay, so you breathe in, and let it go. If you are visual, you may see it as a balloon, dark balloon floating away. Put it into a box and give the box to the UPS guy or something like that. Um, just throw it off a cliff, set it free into the air, uh, whatever it may be. Let the light devour it, give it to God, whatever. Um, if you're, a, if you're a auditory, um, maybe you just say to yourself, I'm letting go. I give it freedom to go. I give it space. Okay, so can I accept this feeling? Could I let it go? Would I let it go? When? Go through those stages, say yes or no to yourself. No is fine. Even if you say no through all four steps, you still may release completely, or at least partly. And only do it as well as you can just for now. Generally speaking, if you practice this, it's really natural to let go, actually. It was, it's, it's what we were born doing. You'll find that your frustration of, or your anger or your whatever it may be, your stuckness, will come down from an 8 to a 4, a 2, a 1. But if you do this relatively fast, it's probably not going to take long. It'll be a 0. And now you're not stuck not practicing or not moving forward in your career in drumming or whatever it may be. Can you use this in other areas of your life? Obviously. So you can be a better drummer, have a better life, and that's really nice, right? Do both at the same time. So it's a really cool tool, letting go. So incorporate it into your drumming, and uh, you'll see. And if you feel also stuck, like with you doing speed things, or uh, grooves, or trying new patterns, or Latin rhythms, or whatever it may be, and you're stuck because you're congested in, you're fearful of it, or whatever, um, okay, you feel fear. You know, release the emotion and you'll find that you're going to be, your ceilings that you have, you know, stuck here, they'll break through when you keep breaking through until there's no ceilings or think of just walls, right? Um, there's like parameters around us. Uh, we're stuck, you know, comfort zones. The comfort zones keep expanding to where there's no comfort zones at all and you're just completely in flow and you're just flowing through your drums. Okay, so there you go. Okay, letting go. Uh, keep watching these videos, keep learning and uh, Better days are coming, promise.